Okay, so we have been running around the mountains here like some <laughs> feral haggis. You're a good assistant. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Oh, shit. Look at this rainbow coming again. That is insane. That is insane. <laughs> Yeah. Well, good morning and welcome back to another photography adventure. Good morning. Benjamin and I, this is Benjamin. Yeah, you've heard me saying Benjamin. You've seen him in a couple of the previous vlogs, lingering around in the background, walking through rivers and all this sort of stuff. So today we are back up Bina Krulis, where I was camping in a couple of vlogs ago with Grant and we have this incredible view going on behind us and we're just hoping that there's going to be some gaps in the east which it doesn't look too promising just now but fingers crossed the light will come through and light up the book out in front of us and i'll get this shot in the bag which i've been looking to get for quite some time now even down in glencoe just now we've got lots of rain going on so it's a very dramatic morning we just need some light on the subject and what's your thoughts on the morning ben well, first I have to correct you. In your <laughs> previous vlog, you were saying binoculars, but it's binoculars, especially as a Scottish guy. Sorry. Um, but for today in the morning, I'm not as optimistic as yesterday with the amazing light that we had. Um, there's definitely a lot more cloud on top of the mountains, but probably about seven o'clock, which is just still in the golden hour, I think we will get some light shining on the mountain. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, you heard it here. Seven o'clock, the light will be shining on the mountain. If not, blame me. <laughs> if not, it's Ben's fault. <laughs> so the composition wise today, it's pretty easy. As you can see, the view is just absolutely stunning. So point the camera in that direction. You can either do some tighter shots, panos, wide shots. There's so many different things you can do from here. So not too many compositions to find. We just have to stand here and wait for the light. Patience will hopefully pay off. Ben, can you remind me what time the sun's going to hit the mountain? Uh, about seven. Do you know what time it is now? 6.56. <laughs> and we have rain passing through. You can see this rain is just like super light rain just coming right through Glencoe. And even across on Rannoch Moor, there's some more rain passing through. We seem to be in the middle of the rain. Sunrise is coming, but I just don't think we're going to get direct light at sunrise. But Ben has promised that the sun will break through these clouds. This is all going to glow beautifully in front of us with the dramatic clouds. I mean, I'm not guaranteed anything. I'm just uh, paid here to guide him up the Benicolas. <laughs> <laughs> well, seven o'clock has now well and truly come and gone and there's no light on the mountain yet. So the predictions from the mountain man here were not quite accurate. There's um, lots of rain still passing through Rannoch Moor to the left here in the east and there's still also lots of rain down in Glencoe in the west. It's very moody and very dramatic and still super cool but we're just going to try and be patient and see if we get some light on the um, stub jarrag behind us here. <sighs> Patience. I was supposed to say eight. Oh, I just realised. I was supposed to say eight. <laughs> So apparently eight o'clock is when the sun is going to come through and hit the mountain, which is on the very cusp of golden hour being finished. That's what I said as well. Yeah. Seven o'clock is when the golden hour finished. Okay, so we're starting to get some glimpses of light coming through the clouds now. It's hitting the tops of some of the peaks away down in Glencoe. It's sort of just like an ambient glow um, hitting Stob Jerig in the middle here. I just need some more intense light on there. There's light way down here behind us in Rannoch Moor. So Rannoch Moor is getting some nice light down there now. So fingers crossed the patience is going to pay off here. Uh, the time is now 7.28. So it's just about 40 minutes now since sunrise. Half an hour until we get the light. Half an hour until we get the light apparently. Eight, Eight o'clock. I would like it to come a little bit earlier if possible. 
but there are breaks in the clouds starting to form, the rain sort of passing through. <sighs> Come on, let's give us this light because we've got some beautiful drama with the clouds going on. The light would just add that finishing touch to this image. This is now my third attempt to get this shot. I had the two mornings where I did the camping and this is the first sunrise hike I've done to try and get a shot up here. So eventually the shot will be in the bag. But it's been a beautiful morning nonetheless. Chilly, very cold. Autumn is definitely here and winter is just around the corner. While the light might actually be starting to happen, it's starting to get dappled light right through Glencoe behind me here. I can almost see it coming through the clouds over in the east. Oh, it's getting closer and closer. Is it going to be too harsh by the time it gets here? If it's going to be nice, beautiful dappled light, then I think we'll get away with it. It's literally hitting the ridge over here. You can see the light hitting here. You can see the light hitting over here. And it's working its way towards here. And check the light coming through Rannoch Moor behind the here. It's getting closer. Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at the light. Oh, let's get this set up. You don't know what to do, isn't it? So if you look, it's two past eight. <laughs> two past eight and the light is coming through now. So it's um, bang on eight o'clock, just like he said, and the light is starting to break through. It looks absolutely incredible up towards Rannoch Moor right now. So I've got the telephoto lenses out, grabbing some shots up here. And then, look at you standing right in front of the camera. <laughs> and, then, and then we're hoping that right now the light is going to start hitting the view call. But it's just too tempting to get the telephotos and keep shooting towards Rannoch Moor right now. Because the light coming through there with the rain is just insane. This is not how you're supposed to use a tripod. But it's working quite well right now. So many layers going on through there. What we're we shooting at, we're shooting Rannoch Moor right now. There's beautiful god rays coming through the sky here. Loads of rays of light. Looks super nice. Why are you not shooting? Get shooting. <laughs> Well, things were about to get even more frantic with the conditions just getting better and better. Please don't forget if you're enjoying this video to go down and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. But anyway, here we go, back to the action. Okay, so we have been running around the mountains here like some <laughs> feral haggis. Conditions just got pretty insane. If you look behind, there's rain falling down, coming through Rannoch Moor here towards Glencoe. There's been some insane rainbow action going on. We were running around, falling over a mountain, trying to catch shots of this rainbow. Sadly, it just faded before it got right in front of us here for this composition. Whoa, look at the sun now hitting our face. Ben's taking shots for me as I'm vlogging, wiping my lens. <laughs> You're a good assistant. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Oh, shit. Look at this rainbow coming again. Come on, rainbow. Whoa. Okay, this rainbow is quite intense and it's moving more and more into the composition now. Wow. That is insane. That is insane. <laughs> I hope it's showing up on the camera here because it looks absolutely magical. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down now and concentrate on getting some more shots. This is uh, probably the most beautiful conditions, conditions I've seen in this area. This yeah, this is insane. Whew. Wow. Magic. <laughs>
Ben is very kindly taking some um, B-roll from me here. So I'm just trying to shoot a panorama now because the scene is just so epic and so wide now that a pano is sort of the best way to try and take it all in. But Ben, please don't be doing this instead of taking photos. Put that camera down and take some shots. <laughs> Honestly, the conditions are unreal and there's some light coming on the buckle on the top now. So I'm going to take the camera down. See you later. Well, as Mr. Benjamin here predicted, the light did break up just after eight o'clock, but I think we've got the best of the light now. So it's time to pack up, head back down this mountain for some coffee, some breakfast and a hot shower. What a crazy, crazy, typically Scottish morning that turned out to be. It's magic. Give us your opinion on that one, Ben. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Scotland is a gift that keeps on giving. That was one of the most spectacular mornings around Bina Crolest, but uh, the Buffalo Et of Moor in the back. There's still some beautiful light on the Three Sisters and Vidian, which to be fair, you kind of want to take a photo, but the light is getting too harsh for a photograph now, unless you go for black and white images. But yeah, that was, uh, that was incredible. That was a special morning. And please don't forget that if you like this content, give the video a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss all these future adventures. And thank you once again for joining me on this photography adventure. And I shall see you very soon on the next one. <laughs>